The blockhead circled me, observing me in detail, pointing at my body, muttering to one another, as though I was, I was some kind of trophy. One of the blockheads stood in front of me, its round face contorting as it spoke. So, you are a human boy, it said. You are not very big. I am taller than you, I replied harshly. Ah, but only for today, the blockhead's ugly face crumpled in a smile. By tomorrow, I will be twice as big as you. I dipped at the blockhead. How come? We told you we are organisms from what you are people call outer space. We are living, breathing things, and fortunately for us, Earth's atmosphere is very good. Your earthy air is nourishing. It allows us to develop from small organisms to huge ones. In fact, some of us have developed rapidly since we arrived. Soon we have to we hope to grow arms and legs just like you have. But if you are only an organism, how come you can speak? I challenge. We might be organisms, but we have superior intelligence, the blockhead replied. The galaxies are full of intelligent beings. I listened to the blockhead's words with a growing sense of horror. <coughs> I still do not get it, I blurted out. Why are you here? We had no choice in the matter, the organism said. We were carried to your planet by space dust. So how did you get into a cloud? I wanted to know. The space dust that brought us here became trapped inside this cloud, the blockhead informed me. So we decided to stay inside the cloud and control it, make it our home and hide. That way nobody on your planet would know we were here, until it was too late. My mind could not take it all. Organisms carried by space dust taking control of a big, a huge black cloud. If the blockhead, blockhead were telling the truth, our planet was in grave danger. I had to learn more about these ugly organisms and their powers. If you came here in space dust, where did the space dust come from? I broke a comment. A large ball of ice that traveled through space at high speed. Huh? Who said comets are made of ice? I argued. I remembered the pictures I had seen of the most famous comet of all. Halley's Comet. They look red hot and have long tails we can see in the sky. Don't you know anything? jeered the blockhead. A comet is an icy solar system body. Some comets might measure a few hundred meters across. Others are ten or kilometers across. They are made up of loose collections of dust, ice, small rocky particles, and gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, and ammonia. When a comet passes close to the sun, it heats up and releases gas. The materials in the comet begin to vaporize and stream out, carrying dust away with them. The force exerted by solar winds causes an enormous tail to form behind the comet, pointing away from the sun. So that is where you came from, I asked. The dust in the tail of the comet. The blobhead smirked. Clever earthling. Some comets are in orbit for only several years, others for several millions of years. You humans know of 4,894 comets, but in the outer solar systems, there are more than one trillion of them. Why should I believe you? I hold back at the ugly grinning blockhead. Because I am what I say I am, an organism a biological organism that did not originate on Earth. The blockhead laughed. 
You see, my friend, there is life in space and is coming to Earth. In fact, if you think about it, life on Earth may have originated in space millions of years ago. I think that sounds crazy, I snapped. Then how do you explain the fact we are here talking to you? I did not have an answer, but I did have another question. As I asked, I could feel fear crawling over my flesh. Well, now that you are here, what are you going to do? The blockhead gloated. We are going to control the darker's void, the zone between the living and the dead. By doing so, we will control, we will take control of Earth and make it our planet.